Ranking 85, the next ceiling I have to shatter on this journey to scratch. The driver has been feeling hot, my irons have been feeling dialed. But what about my infamous short game? Will this be my downfall or will it be other unexpected obstacles like wild animals? Stay tuned because not only do I have to deal with all of that, but I also end up playing with a baseball player, fireman, and to top it all off, I share exclusive tips during this entire round that my Hall of Fame coaches have told me secretly off camera. So ladies and gentlemen, let's go. We're back at Mission Trails Golf Course. Fun fact, this is where Phil Mickelson grew up. Someone told me that over there in the range. Are we ready to break 85 today? I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. A lot of people showing up. It's pretty packed out here. Am I feeling great? I feel amazing. <laughs> Go through a lot of changes, but we're gonna send this. Slightly, slightly open. Okay, we are off to the races, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have been part of the S2 fam, this journey already, you guys already know that I've been training with some of the greatest coaches in the world to try to get to this goal of trying to get scratch. If you guys are new here, well, that's what I've been doing on this channel. So I've decided a new addition to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm calling it, um, oh, oh, Jerome's Super Secret Scratch Bad. Uh, if you have a better name, comment down below. But I've realized there are a lot of things off camera that I have discussions with my coaches about, like some secret tips, not really secret, but just not on camera some drills and such, some aha moments uh, that's not even on. And so throughout this 18 whole course, I'm going to pretty much have a secret list that I'm gonna be presenting to you guys, telling you telling you guys about, uh, so you guys know more about what's gonna happen behind the scenes, and overall just improve your guys' game as well, um, that it has mine. And so, uh, yeah, let's find this ball, have a good day, and let's try to break 85. I kind of have high, high hopes that this is gonna happen. Let's go, baby. Pretty good. Pretty good drive, actually. Uh, slightly faded, uh, but we're still at a good spot here. We're gonna hit a five iron. I'm gonna try to get this on the green. Nah, it's, I don't think it's gonna get on the green. It's like 240 out, but I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. It was gloomy this morning. The sun came out. <laughs> the sun's coming out tomorrow, today. <laughs> All right, guys, number one on this super secret list. And honestly, I think it's gonna be a game changer today and hopefully make me score lower than I ever done before is from Dana Dalquas. He's my full swing coach, but he's basically having me strategize and just uh, on every tee shot, the majority of my shots, just a uh, position and set up on the left side. So we basically take away an entire side of the golf course and we're basically aiming right, only right today and hopefully there's only two shots that come out of it, either draws, which is the majority, hopefully the majority, or just a slight phase or slight pushes. Um, but we're not, we're basically gonna try to negate any of these pulls any of the, and negate any of these other things. And so we have a lot more of a predictable round. And so, and that's number one on this list. I think there's gonna be a lot of good things on this list for other things, uh, but man, we said that. <laughs> it's right above the green. Let's get this up here. Let's try to get a birdie on the first hole, eh? Putting isn't great, but you know, we got all year. Hey, 2024 is the year for short game. Start with a bogey. We had some good drives there, but we left it short. Did read the green right, but we're getting adjusted. I feel really good today, guys. I feel really good today. The course management play here is a five iron. It's 326 yards, par four, but I want to practice my driver. <laughs> so we're trying to see if we can get this. I rushed that one, <laughs> but it went straight. Also, although I hit behind that, I feel pretty good about my swing there. Um, I just need to get my weight on the lead side and just not rush that transitionary step. But I supinated 
properly, so I ain't mad. We're a little under the trees, but we're still on the like, direct shot at the, the green, so let's, let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Got about 109 yards here. Five iron under these trees. But I think this is kind of like more or less a half swing. Went, uh, I overclosed it, but you gotta get it under the trees here. Front in the sand trap. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda like the sand trap. <laughs> Hot take. Let's see if we, let's see if we can get out of that though. That went right off the heel. Not the greatest. Another bogey for us. Thank you, man. Yeah. Give a like for that <laughs> camaraderie right there. <laughs> oh my god. Starting off with two bogeys. Feeling really. The full swing's really, really good, guys. It's kind of dialed. I'm not gonna lie, it's really dialed. <laughs> Besides hitting that uh, pretty. Not the greatest uh, drive, but let's uh, figure out putting a little bit more. Um, let's. It's, I guess the, the greens are real. Greens are pretty fast today. Um, should have known that if I practiced more in the morning, but we didn't. We'll slow down our putting a little bit and let's make these bogeys in the pars and these eventual pars and birdies. So, hole 16, guaranteed, hole in one. Who knows? We'll just call it. <laughs> if it happens though, a million likes, please. This hole's 100, it's playing with like about 152. Uh, I went eight iron. I don't know, it was like, it was a tough call because my nine iron goes about 147-ish. Eight iron goes a little, like 150 something. But I thinned it, so I went eight iron went about 165. Get that going out of my face. <laughs> Give him the read. <laughs> nice read. Uh, it's gonna be a long day at the yard. He's going straight. I thought he was going right to left. So how are you guys doing? You just got a birdie. Yeah, eagle in a whole one. Oh, one. It was wild. I, was, I, I witnessed it. <laughs> Man, if you called yourself Scratch the Bogey, your channel would be already done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, we got three bogeys in a row. I'm telling you, 2024 is all about short game. We've met with a bunch of short game coaches, but we have not dialed it. To be honest, I've been focusing full swing a lot, but I'm feeling really good about full swing now. The year, this is the year of short game. The year of Kobe Bryant, short game. I don't know the relation, but it's just homage to him. One of my favorite players. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Par uh, par four, two ninety one. We could hit a driver, send it. Probably not. We're gonna we're gonna hit a six iron. Okay, guys. Number two on Jerome su Super Secret Scratch Pad is one thing. I just was like a mind blower to me and my swing is like I don't know if you watched previous episode when we talked about spine extension, and I kid you not, I thought spine extension was just like going up like this because extending <laughs> and because that all my shots were kind of just spinning out of control and I was not properly getting on my left side which is like the, my biggest thing when I do chunks and so spine extension mind-boggling is still staying in the same like I guess width it's not like moving up or down but the chest is actually just going up while it's going here and then and then using that as kind of like the leverage point to get on your left side so that's a little tidbit that helped me in the last couple days weeks and help me hit better shots. Oh, man. I think I was aiming there. <laughs> I think I was aiming there and then faded a little bit. Yeah, we need to review that tape, but I think I was aiming there. Like, from my angle, it looked like it went straight, um, straight to the right, but hopefully it's just not with the trees. We had a six iron to do a little course management. Um, I just knew that this dips and then there's like a canal, so I didn't want to send it because you get in a precarious situation if that's the case. Oh, I see it. Actually, 
Oh, that was a pretty good shot. <laughs> that was actually an amazing shot. I don't want to brag or anything. It's not out of bounds. <laughs> 85 yards, but there's this tree in the way. I think we hit a 60 degree. No, we don't. We hit a 56 degree. Like a nice 56 degree. I think there's a lot of space on the left side. There's a the ball. Here it is. <laughs> so we get aim over there a little bit. And then, because there's a bunker on the right. Again, I don't mind bunkers, but. Oh. <laughs> Only in America. Oh, I, I left it short. <laughs> Dang, I was getting very cute with it. it. Felt really good, but I left it really short. That's the problem with it. I was like, I want to get over. I want to have a good contact, but it ended up just going straight and like 20 yards short. And so um, we got to punch it out. But we'll be fine there. We'll be fine there. Bogey train. Jerome just needing friends. I know. Are you guys all friends? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. We work together and then he plays baseball used to. Oh, sick, dude. What do you guys do? We work for the fire department. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Alright, guys. Fi Firemen right here. If you guys want to slide in their DMs, go ahead. <laughs> there you go. Shout out fire department. You guys are the real MVPs. <laughs> Is that job pretty intense, would you say? How many fires do you guys take out? <laughs> this guy ripped like three fires last shift, actually. Really? Yeah. No. 3 a.m. this morning, I can hear the tones go off. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are joking, but that yeah, sounds yeah. insane. No, he's actually... Oh, that's real. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And if you guys also think these firemen are awesome for saving lives, and if you guys have loved the content, it would mean so much to me as a small creator if you guys quickly like this video down below and also subscribe to the channel to be part of S2 Nation. Let's build the greatest golf community ever. So please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can be the first to see all new episodes that come out. Now, let's get back to the video to see if I stripe this next shot. The one thing I told everyone at part one is don't aim left, only get right. I aimed left there. I got in my head. Play that replay back, I know. Slow motion, my feet. I was like, you know what, I'm aiming too far right. And I aimed slightly left, boom, pulled it. I got in my head. Not the greatest outcome. I think it's gonna be fine. There's so much space on the right. So much space on the right. Matthew didn't correct me. What is he doing? I mean, what am I paying him for to be a, a videographer? I want him to be my caddy. <laughs> Bro, I'm a pickleball player. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Matthew just told me. How, how much are pickleball balls now? Uh, the new tournament ones are like 35 bucks for four. Okay, I thought golf was a scam. I'm just kidding. I love golf, but uh, that's insane, dude. That's crazy. Paddles are going for like $200, <laughs> and they last like six months. Oh my god. Next stop. I thought it was going to be pickleball after golf, but probably do something cheaper. Like dance or something. <laughs> In my room. I don't know. Oh! oh don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare. That was a pretty good shot. That like... That drew like overdrew, but like I was aiming slightly left, so it, was, it wasn't that bad. Oh my god, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Uh, why does that pin look like it's a million miles away? No, that can't be it. That's on a hill. My rangefinder is is not doing its job properly. <laughs> so we're gonna hit a seven iron. Okay, that could have been a really, really, really good shot. Or, or it went over the green. I kind of like lost it in the light. I drew it exactly where I was aiming it. It's kind of perfect. A uh, sli slight chunk, but like, don't mind that. Just cause like my Rage Rider I thought is like, says 156, but then it also started glitching out. It said 172. So if it went 164 with a seven iron, that would have been ideal. It was the latter. It was not a good shot. Range for hundreds. I should hit an eight iron. I knew it, Matthew. God, it's the worst caddy ever. <laughs> so. Still play pickleball. <laughs> cool. 
this. We gotta capture this now. <laughs> he called that he's getting a birdie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Redo it, cut it. Joke's under pressure. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally believe, even though I've gotten a bogey on every single hole, which is crazy. I've got a bogey every single hole, playing bogey golf. I'm feeling like I'm playing the best golf I've ever played in my life. You know how I've, uh, I'm assembling the Avengers, ladies and gentlemen. Assembling the Avengers. We got Dana, as you guys know, full swing coach, mental performance coach with Rick Sessenhouse. And I'm bringing one last piece to the puzzle to be named later, but he's gonna be a short game master and he's gonna be a consistent. Uh, oh, Matthew <laughs> just knocked his head on the car. <laughs> this is one of my the big bucks. He's resilient. <laughs> and this man is going to come to the channel and he's going to be the long term short game coach um, for me for S2. And I think we're going to make a lot of good content. We're just going to grind in 2024 all, all this stuff. And so we'll get if we get all these pars instead of bogeys, um, birdies, a scratch. I gave myself five years. I think. I think maybe I could do it in three, but I don't want to say anything yet. It's time to grind. Hole six, 467. Big dogs gotta eat. Big dogs gotta eat. <laughs> shout, you got a shout out for the group? I don't got much. Uh, currently six over. Gonna try to break 92. So, see how it goes. I believe he's gonna get 89 today. Boom, just taking a hot take. I actually never hit a driver here, but. Uh, the people in front of us, the, the homies are here, they all sent it, and I feel embarrassed if I don't do it. <laughs> so this goes out of bounds, it's on that. Oh, don't land in the bunker. Oh. <laughs> Kobe! <laughs> it felt good until it landed in the bunker. Who put that bunker there? I sent that though. That felt really good. In my head, I was like, I should just hit a five iron here. Landed like away from that. Sometimes you gotta play hero shots, you know? We're out here having fun. We had three hero shots from the, the crew in front of us. It's a great, great crew. This is what I kind of love about um, playing as a single. You meet so many cool people. We've got some firemen out here, baseball player. Then uh, me, who's either of those things. I feel like I'm Lowe's pedigree of the Lowe's. Oh my god. Look, it landed. It landed on the stick. Okay, guys, comment down below what is what, what is the rules here? Like, it's it's literally inside, un, under the stick. Man. Hey, whoever was here before. Oh, it didn't move. <laughs> That's crazy, though. I knew it. I knew it. Go! Go! <laughs> I don't know how to do fairway bunkers. My mortal enemy. I hate to see that. I hate to see that. Oh, baby nine air. Why not? Why not? Aim a little. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got a nine iron though because if I chunked that with a pitching wedge, it would have probably went 10 yards. <laughs> that felt like a good swing. I rushed the top of the swing and then land on left, then land on left, you chunk the ball. Man, th this hole should have been a lot easier than it was. I played it poorly. I've chunked like every shot on this hole. It's Matthew's fault. <laughs> I don't think we're playing bad at golf. We, made, we just made some bad decisions. Back nine, I think it's gonna be good. Just made it a little smarter. No, that's six over six. We got a 138 here, slight win. Get a pitching wedge, par three. I sent that to the moon. This is what happens when you swing way too fast. Okay, so number three on this list, guys, and this is crazy. I've been doing this wrong my entire life, but I always thought like the way to kind of close the face and like compress the ball was just like <laughs> make my wrist go like this. That's not what supination is, I guess. Supination is like 
combination of that and also like going that way. Once I added that to the mix, ooh, game changer. But anyways, we got this ball here. Just a bunch of dirt. Pretty six degree. You land it like on this ridge here. Get a little bouncy. <laughs> Not the greatest lie. Okay. Much mud on that ball. All right. Uh, first double bogey of the day. That was unfortunate. I went ahead on my head on the tee off. Made it. I topped it. Two bad breaks on the short game shots. All that is very, very, very avoidable. And then just slightly red. I mean, I thought I read it right. I felt it. I didn't break at all. I felt it in my shoes. But yeah, that's the way the cro cookie crumbles. <laughs> that's the way the cookie crumbles. We got a par four here. Let's let's try to get back. Get it back. Let's get a birdie. Open face. Let's see if we can get that. <laughs> I love how I just talked about supination, the whole thing, and I didn't do it. We're on the other fairway, but very close to being in front of this tree. We're here. <laughs> I didn't close the face again. <laughs> We're actually pin high on the right side. Uh, not the worst. Actually, the, man, if I just supinated that, that might have been a perfect shot. Anyways, we're pin high to the right. 53. You're gonna hit a 60 degree. A little to the left. Oh, I... oh. oh. It's actually a really good shot. Oh, no. I like skirted it. With the boys are uh, close to the pin. Uh, loser buys everyone hot dogs. Let's see what we got. 169 plane. I need a 7 iron. I lost already. <laughs> Alright, let's see it. Alright, edit at me like right next to each other. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a little competition. <laughs> I crack under pressure, it seems like. But, no, we got, uh, these guys have been fun to play with. They still got the back nine, which is gonna be, I think, a, a lot better. Let's get, like, let's get this up and down, um, and then try to end up with a part here. <laughs> I love how, like, I aimed on the right and it ended up going to the left. It means I didn't get any pressure on my left side. Oh, sh I'm just done with this hole. Don't look at me. Mother Oh my god, this is a blow up on the century. Let me see you get out of here. Go pick it up. Oh my god. Get out, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go. My heart rate started picking up. I was like, I was like, I don't know how, I can't like pull people back. Exploded, exploded everywhere. <laughs> oh, back nine, ladies and gentlemen. We got 13 over. The fourth thing on the list, honestly, this I need to start incorporating more. It's, uh, it's called the Greg Norman drill. Greg Norman drill is pretty much like coming back and then shooting their arms to the right up while this is like going out. Like this I'll just give you the feel which I need to add back and get back to the shots that I was having in the first couple of uh, holes so let's just get after it and I we have to 
make a little bit of some corrections. We're like reverting back to our old habits right now. One is not getting any pressure to the left side. And then because of that, we're spinning out of control. We're going over the top and we're sending it left, even though we're aiming right. The next couple of shots, we just need to focus on getting to the left side, landing, and then and then doing the Greg Norman, Greg Norman drill. <laughs> just have that feel because we need to get on the green on these par threes or we are screwed. <laughs> we are screwed for our score. All right, we gotta get this over this bunker. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Really? Starting off with double bogey, it's not ideal, but there's a lot of positives to all of this right now. I'm still like feeling really good about like the swing. Playing a little worse than I imagined. This year though, there's a bunch of big news gonna happen on the channel. It's happening in my life, and it's gonna allow me to uh, play a lot more. I know like the first year, I guess in the first 10 months, it's a lot about technique, technicalities, all that other stuff, but we're going to be coming out of the course a lot more. So it's going to be a good thing. And these scores are going to go drastically down. I can guarantee it. Drone has a girlfriend. That's the news. <laughs> I've deleted all my dating apps. <laughs> no, no more. Slide to his DMs. Do slide to my DMs. Actually, definitely follow me on Instagram. Jerome All right. Whole 11. Let's go, baby. Not baby. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, already on baby basis, you babe. <laughs> We're gonna get a birdie here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Bro, he's single. Don't look at me. San Diego, California, if you want to hit him up. His address is <laughs> the golf course. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Got our first good drive of the day. Is it the turn of the century? We'll see. We'll see. Breaking 85. It's still possible. All right, we got 103 here. We're gonna hit 56 degree. Um, it's a little sloping. This is probably gonna go a little to the left, so I'm gonna aim slightly more to the left. Good aim. A little short. Pretty good. <laughs> what are the chances you miss this? What is the probability? Comment down below if you know the probability for PGA stars. It's literally like two feet away. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard. Comment in the description if you want to see Jerome play mini golf. <laughs> no one wants to see that. So Can Jerome get a scratch on mini golf? <laughs> First par of the day. More to come. In your face, Matthew. In your face, your probability. And Bro, it only took 11 holes. <laughs> I think this is 12 holes. <laughs> is this hole 11 or 12? I think we're at the 14th hole. I'm just kidding. You know, um, you know who uh, had this same problem? Relatively uh, pretty good at drives and irons and bad at chipping? Victor Hovland. Oh. Did you get that one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say there's some comparison there, but there isn't any comparison there. <laughs> but um, we're going to get this stroking fixed. This is a lot of practice, and also the guy coming on the channel will help a lot. We've wasted so many shots just on like multiple chips that's relatively easy. Um, a lot of the things that's been problematic for me is like hard pan shots. When is hard pan like, ugh, not right now it's like 9 out of 10, like going to be a bad shot. And so, Gotta practice that a lot, and then putting hasn't been great. It's been pretty bad. Uh, Four, all right! All right! Man, the driver, I just need a supinate. Like, I'm not, I'm just like going at it, but I'm not doing the this, and so it's coming like in like this. 
<laughs> it's coming in like this. And it's it's gonna go right all day long. Punch it out properly. So we got 168 to the pin. Once probably 165. We're gonna hit a seven iron in there. Let's just make sure we're not our club base isn't open. I think we should be fine. We're just gonna get a little locked and loaded now. These last couple of holes, I really just need to be patient on my uh, on my turns. I keep turning way too fast before I get my my weight on my lead foot. So we chunked it. I mean, we're not too far from the green. Let's get this up and down, get a par, and let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm so hungry, dude. <laughs> uh, should have packed a peanut butter sandwich. Did not. And I think that was a double. Right. I think it opens up there. Maybe. We'll see. Net positives, though. I mean, some positives. I think this is like so far going to jinx it, but this is the this is the only time I've, I haven't ever lost the ball yet. So we're tracking that. I'm, <laughs> that's how I'm gauging how good I'm getting. Like the amount of balls I'm bringing to rounds now is like four balls, maybe three, because I'm confident I'm not going to lose it. I just know it's not going to be the greatest shots, but it's definitely not going to be sent to the moon. So we're out of bounds. I think that was a really good shot. That was a really good drive. Um, Slightly drew, I think it's on the right side, uh, but hopefully we have a good one in our hands. We need to get like a birdie in here. Oh. Slightly short, <laughs> slightly short. Oh my god. Oh, actually. <laughs> I mean, oh my f***ing god, that's great. Great outcome. Thank you. That's not reachable, is it? Send it! That was a ball. Maddie and I are like talking about Taco Bell. Like, it's, it's all, everyone's, what's your thoughts on Taco Bell? You know, like, Matt, what, what, are your, what are your thoughts on Taco Bell? Bro, I go to Taco Bell more than in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Me and my buddies, we were coming back from a night out like a long time ago. And I don't know if any of you guys do this where you like try to plan your Uber so that your Uber eats at the same time and it like gets to your place at the exact same moment in time and you just feel super accomplished. So we ended up buying like $70 worth of Taco Bell and, uh, I was like, I'm gonna devour every single one of these. The instant I get back from the Uber, I take one bite and I fall asleep. <laughs> oh, I pulled it. This is like a high anxiety club, and so I really just need to like take about 20% off and just like feel the the motions that I'm trying to go through because when I come out here I try to kill everything and then it ends up like pulling like that but next shot will be a little more in control so we'll be fine. This is part five. This dog's gonna mess you up bro. The pressure. <laughs> Forgot his uh, rangefinder right now. No, he just wanted to say hi to the dogs. Let's be real. Not bad. 
bad. Not bad. Oh my god. I don't even look at it. Is it still going? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Par four, 344 yards, I believe. Big dogs gotta eat. I'm not scared about this, it's just been it was chipping and short game. It's cost me like a lot of strokes, so. Let's, uh, let's just get this close. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> We're averaging about 270, 280 yards now. Um, it's 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 been good because like the driver has diminished distance, but its accuracy and predictability has increased a lot with the new changes, which is honestly like all I really care about. We can increase speed and distance a little later if needed, but man, chipping and pitching and putting has destroyed today's score which is which is not like surprising um i haven't practiced a lot around it um unfortunately i've been trying to dial in this swing and i think it's been a good place but no excuse it's gonna be a good year though like i keep saying but about 80 yards to the pin let's hit a little nice 56 degree and then let's see if we get the par up there boom Oh, that felt really good. <laughs> this is short. It's like another thing right now where I need to kind of be better at. It's like the... Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, where, where am I going? Is the half shots. Um, if you watch the Seekman episode, which is an amazing episode, we're dialing that in, but I haven't practiced any of this. It's, it's demoralizing. I mean, it is what it is. This is going to be a good. A year from now, when we look back, we're like, dang. That guy's okay now, at least, hopefully. But we should have got that on the green. That was just like, that's just a feel thing. That was like perfect contact. Now it's just like gauging distance control. Okay. Again, again, amazing contact. Distance control. Not great right now. It's crazy, the whole thing about putting and, and slopes is interesting because like my eyes usually tell me like right to left, feet tell me left to right sometimes, usually 90% of the time my feet is right, but like when I look at this I'm like, yeah I guess that does go left to right, I don't know man, it's, I just need to do this a lot more, <laughs> but we ended up with a bogey there, bogey central, I wouldn't be mad if this was like a hole. For 20 over 15. And all of this was due to nothing but short game. Nothing but short game. Okay, we got R4, 389 yards. Course management. I've been on this course before, and better play, smart play, is um, 5 iron and then get on the green from there. But I've been kind of feeling my driver today. I think, like, I'm not gonna lie, the scorecard is not showing it, but mentally and like physically, I feel like like leaps and bounds on my swing right now. Like it's it feels like every time I go up to it, I'm gonna hit it well. It's just lost so much on the short game, like so much. It's like ridiculous. We've gone from like pars to double bogeys on like three holes, um, and six six bogeys in the beginning really cost us. Like we should have gotten. I think I mean we saved some, but like we should have gotten at least pars on half of those. That's what you say when you're not a scratch. You could have. You could have. We're gonna send this though. <laughs> Come on. Dog leg right here. And we're gonna just straight at it. Wow. I hook that to the left. Oh my god. Should have hit it hard. <laughs> I like rushed it 
on the way down and then just go like this. I really just need to like feel the stretch. <laughs> feel, feel the stretch. <laughs> I got a lesson tomorrow with Dana. So we'll usually review a lot of the tape, obviously, see the mechanics, but man, the day one I was with Dana versus the swing I have now, it's like it's like completely different in every single aspect. And it's becoming more and more comfortable. Apparently, just not on the green. <laughs> well, Why do you have four clubs? You should have brought a driver. <laughs> it's the butter right now, I swear. I need the butter. <laughs> I could have told you that from the cart. Bruh. Hole 17. Hole 17, baby. First hole in one. Yeah, dude, let's do it. <laughs> I chucked that, but let's go. This wasn't a hole in one, though. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. Okay, so I chunked that. And this is 215 yards for the 5 iron, and that went past the hole. We got some speed. <laughs> we got some speed, ladies and gentlemen. We need to like, dang, that was, if I hit that pure, that might have went over the green like 230 yards. I ain't complaining. Let's end the last two on a good note. Let's try to get, uh, let's try to get under, let's try to get at least get average rookie golf. Look how far, it went past the, the green. Oh, bro, you're slightly off the green. You sure you don't want three more clubs? <laughs> oh, this guy's extra screwed uh, right now. <laughs> The last tip, the last secret sauce on Jerome's crash pad is, this is I think the biggest game changer to my swing right now, is like the way to actually add pressure to your left foot, like the, like the last nine months I've been like trying to artificially do it, like going like this, like this, but uh, with Dana with learning is just like the way to kind of get there is the use of like you rotating through your spine and the the whole, the, the whole rotation through the spine basically allows it to get back there and it's kind of just naturally like landing there. It's not like I'm landing there and forcing it, it's just like now it's landing and then you pretty much react. And so my biggest swing thought right now is full rotation, land uh, naturally, and then once it's landed on the left foot, react to it uh, by doing the pretty much the Greg Norman drill, which is like getting up and then kind of out. Um, with the supination so that's kind of like what's in my head right now that lesson with Dana wasn't too long ago and so still ironing all those out but I think like after a couple of weeks kind of just doing those drills getting that feeling I'll be a little more consistent like I topped a couple shots here um, just because I was like trying to still doing the artificial landing but overall I think today was kind of a win in my eyes just because of the fact that what I've been practicing has been greatly improved. The short game, we'll figure that out. Again, I think that's a lot of reps. That's a lot of feel. And I'm kind of banking on like my basketball background with like having feel in a sport. So I have that and then we're gonna grind with the new person that has not been yet disclosed on the channel, who is a short game god. And he'll be with us for hopefully like a year or two to kind of iron all this out, make all those bogeys birdies. Double bogeys never to happen again, and I think we get scratch in uh, a year or two for sure. For, for sure. If not, 
I don't even know anymore, dude. I'm gonna go insane. All right, hole 18. I don't know if I can drive it, so we'll just play smart. We'll hit a five iron. Um, try to get a par. I have it over this. Hey, you should try. I think, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? That was pretty straight too, man. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> So we have five iron here, this is downhill, so I'm gonna aim a little left. I'm gonna punch it out. Go, go, go. Keep going. Nice play. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> not the greatest performance in score wise, but I kind of feel good about the swing, so it's not the worst thing. Had a great day, great day of golf. Met amazing people. Later, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we're just going to be back at it. We're going to be back at it, grinding. And hopefully, you guys are joining the S2 journey. If not, subscribe, like. Love you guys. Peace. Hey, oh, you over there who just watched this awesome video. If you enjoyed that, I can guarantee you, you will like this video right over there, right over there in that thumbnail. Yep, just, just click it. YouTube told me personally you would. And also Tiger Woods told me, and Chuck Norris, yup. And Brad Pitt, and Bono. Bono, yup, Bono definitely told me you would like it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys over there.